for the cheap support of the evening Saturday night. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBO Junior Welterweight Championship of the World. 140 pounds, 63.5 kilos, or 10 stone. Introducing up first to the stage, the challenger fighting out of Brooklyn, New York. He is undefeated as a professional, 21-0, one draw, 10 knockouts. Please welcome Mikkel Slick Mick Lay Pierre. This bout is in association with Rock Nation Sports and Debella Entertainment. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. 25 and 0, three draws, 17 knockouts, fighting out of Dallas, Texas, the reigning, defending WBO Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, Mighty Mo, Maurice Hooker. Uh oh, is he going to make weight? No, it was a it was a quick slip fall. It wasn't no like no dramatic shit. My shit twisted and like I worked, and then I just fucking fell. The undefeated Mikel Slick Mick Lay Pierre. But it's healed up a lot. It's like some bruising, but it healed up a lot. Hey, I'll show you. I just took a picture of my ashy ass ankle. One thirty-eight and three quarter for Slick Mick, the challenger. One thirty-eight and three quarter pounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, to the scale, the reigning, defending. Oh, you got to get butt-ass naked just to not make weight. Maurice, mighty Mo <coughs> Hooker. Ooh. Look at his face. He's not going to make that weight. Look at his face. Look at his face. He looked like he did. Oh my God! <clears throat> Look at his face. One forty and a half for Maurice Hooker. One forty and a half for Mighty Mo. He might be able to get that off. You want to see my nasty foot? Check it out. It got better though. It got better. Trust me, it's, it's gotten a lot better. So I still got to have some more shit worked on this little area right here. Yeah, it got better. No, dry skin. I mean, I don't No, Hell no, I put no lotion on. Hell no. Who lotion? That? I'm not lotioning my feet. That's whole shit. I ain't lotioning my feet. No, it was bad, though. It was really, really bad. It was really, really bad. That shit was ugly. So it's that one little part right there and the bruising from when it was all swollen and shit. It's more ashy right there because it was swollen. The swelling went down. You got possum feet. Lay Pierre, Mighty Mo Hooker. No, Four it's good. I'm telling you. Listen, the, the whole shit was swollen. Like the whole shit around like the ankle and shit, it was swollen like bad. But it is, I'm telling you, it was better. It's just that what that little what that little knot is right there, the swelling is going back down. You know? So that's where, you know, it was almost a tear. Like that shit would have fucked me up. No, I don't got no corns. You only get corns if you wear like and, and bunions you know, if you wear like two small shoes and shit. Canistota, the International Boxing Hall of Fame. And at this time it's my pleasure to hand But yeah, it was a pain in the ass though. It was a pain in the ass. Like I'm glad this shit is getting better. Like that shit was whack cuz I didn't think I didn't take it seriously so I was walking around. Great job as always. You know, oh, shit. Also from those introductions that David gave you. We have an outstanding card of engine oil on their feet. Hmm. Here. Round five venue, stoppage. The Turning Stone Resort Casino, Verona, New York. You hate to even use the word undercard because it's such a solid card with a great supporting cast of fighters. But now let's go to the main event. As you all know, it's for the. No, um, the swelling went down once. I had, I wasn't wearing the boot. So, long story short, I was, I was walking around on it. I went to that the zone press conference. In so Philly, and, and I, I, I aggravated it more.
Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing. So every time I go out now, I got to wear like I got a brace that goes inside of my shoes now. I don't wear the boot no more. So I have to always wear it for at least another um, two months because they said they said a high a high um, ankle sprain can be just as bad as a fracture in healing. And broadcast exclusively to the United Kingdom on Sky Sports. So let's bring the fighters up to the So I got motion in it now. I can like move it around and shit. Introducing first the challenger. From Long Island, New York, his record. And well, I couldn't have a sheet touch it or nothing. Like sleeping was the worst. Of those 24 wins are by knockout, only two losses in his career. Oh, here he we go. Former WBC international light heavyweight. Did you notice like the top of Joe Smith's head is like really flat? He got like a flat top. And his opponent tomorrow night will be an undefeated fighter. Perfect record, 15 fights, 15 victories, 11 wins by knockout. He comes to us from Domingos Vidal. Top Ring has the best undercards to me. The They're exciting WBA in the presentation. Heavyweight champion of the world, Dimitri Yeah, I still got to cover it. And remember, R. Kelly shit coming on at 8 o'clock, and I, I want to watch that and cover that. I'm probably going to be sweet. First on of the scales will be the challenger. Once again, his record. Yeah, they do. Their undercards have been nice. Twenty of those twenty-four. Th it's something about only two PBC undercards. They just be weird, like, and not really exciting. Former WBC international light heavy. They undercards do not be exciting like that, yo. I don't know what it is. You know what I learned? That these like models, chicks, they be having regular boyfriends. You guys have a shot. 24 wins, 20 wins by knockout. You fuck boys got a shot. New York, USA, Joe Smith Jr., former WBC international champion. Or Kelly sleeping with underage girls and like you know allegedly sleeping with underage girls and they keep them kidnapped and shit. pounds for the challenger, Joe Smith Jr. Don't say that before credentials getting taken away. Say what? Why are you? Why are you always talking about my credentials, about my business? What are y'all talking about? You're always worried about my business, like my credentials. Light heavyweight world champion Dimitri Bevo. Imagine how much would you not know about me if I didn't tell you? How many credentials being denied would you know about without me telling you? One half pounds for the undefeated world champion, Dimitri Bevo. I'm no stranger to a lion woman, but in the case of R. Kelly, it's Again, too much. Great card of boxing tomorrow night. It's too much. It's too much against early. him. They're all good, and the seats are all great seats here. In the event center, a turning stone resort casino, Verona, New York. I'm never going to forgive Beehive, forgive Beehive for not giving Joe Smith credit and showing him love. Like, you know, he beat him. He should have, like, said, Congratulations, young man. The undefeated WBA light heavyweight world. Well, well, the Catholic Church is very powerful. So they're never going to be prosecuted. You need to look that up. The Catholic Church, listen, they're the most, they're, like, they're. Here Between them face and the Queen of England, they're the most powerful champion. people in the world. And the Rothschilds. Slim, trim, both fit, ready to go. 173 for the, the royal family, the Catholic Church, and, and the Rothschilds. The, champion. the main event tomorrow night here at Turning Stone. I remember when uh, B-Hot was doing a post-fight interview in the back of Max Kellerman and they were icing the wrong foot, the, the wrong foot. He tried to say that he twisted his ankle, but he fell on his head. Okay, Barack, a lot of respect at this win. I think every fighter shook hands after. Yeah, they sent him, exactly, they sent him to another stop. No push, Correct. No, no shoving, but I guarantee that tomorrow night. But we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do something. We're going to do a video on that stuff, though. No, a lot of times, really like the crew. 
you know, the entourage, the posse. You tripping. Rothschild's you know still powerful really and shit today. You tripping. You scared of? Ain't nobody coming at you, bro. got this light heavyweight coming at you right now. Ain't nobody coming at you, bro. Don't worry. We okay. I got you. I'm a heavyweight. You understand? We got you. I'm a super heavyweight. <laughs> all right, well, so Al Hamer Joe controls Smith, all the biggest Joe, concerts you, in boxing. Are, critics are saying, listen, Smith's chance in this fight is by You know, Al Heyman promotes puncher. Lady Gaga it's concerts. Boom, roasted. But you didn't know that. Fight? Are you going into, uh, is that affecting your thought process? Saying maybe I Lady Gaga thinks Al Heyman. No, not at all, man. I, I'm staying relaxed, staying calm. I'm just going to take my time and I'm going to maybe eventually get him out of there but i'm gonna take my excuse me i'm gonna take my time and do it the right i wonder if r kelly concerts were promoted by al Heyman. let me check you seem very calm you seem very relaxed but i want to know like this is the time when you look into the guy's eyes did you see anything no i just look right through him honestly i'm just focused on winning and i got my eyes on that belt and, and you and you got your mind on some food and you about to go eat and enjoy a nice meal Feels nope. Good to just have a couple of sips in me already. I mean, I was two pounds light. Right. Which I mean, you didn't struggle that much good making way. I want to wish you good luck, you, brother. Looking forward to this fight tomorrow. All right, now good luck, Joe Smith. Wow. All right. So yeah, I mean, when you see a fighter not uh, struggle to make weight when he's a couple of pounds underweight, means that there was no struggle. There was no real struggle. Most guys are struggling just making it. Absolutely. I think one of the fighters didn't really make the weight though. I think it was Hooker. Uh, I'm not sure if he was over. I wasn't really. I, wasn't I really thought sure I heard him say a pound, 140 half and a half a pound. Yeah. Usually for a title fight, uh, it can't go down unless the weight is exact. Right. So I don't know the details. I'm pretty sure you guys will, will hear the details. We got Hopefully Bavol. he knocks that off. Coming. What's up? What's up, brother? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so you guys made both made weight. Uh, they got to oh, make sure the belt looks yeah, good, yeah, you know? Nice make sure the belt shiny, looks good, yeah, you know? All right, both of you guys may weight easily. Uh, I want to ask you, Bavo, a lot of people are saying that you're the best light heavyweight in the world. Do you feel that? Do you feel that you have to get past Smith and then fight Kovalev in order to be the best light heavyweight in the world? Or do you feel you are that now? I feel that I can be the best of light heavyweight division. Uh, to prove it, I have to beat another champion. Hey, what the and, fuck? Uh, now, Putting I'm that shit in my chat. Fight against another champion, and uh, I don't want to think about what will be after Smith because uh, I, I'm focused on him. Okay, I asked Smith the same question. Oh, did it end? Did they cut it off? What happened? Did I do something wrong? Uh, every my opponent uh, have a. Uh, agree in his eyes. Uh, right. And, uh, <laughs> right. Ready to win, fight. It doesn't matter. Because sometimes, sometimes you can see it. You can tell if a fight is scared or not, right? It's nothing. Yeah, yeah, it's no, it's nothing. For, for me, it's nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Uh, everything uh, it will be on the ring. In the ring. Anyway, now a lot. A lot of people are saying that he's such a big puncher. Is that affecting you mentally? Are you going in this fight saying I can't get hit by this guy because he's such a big puncher? Yeah, I understand. He's a really big uh, puncher. Uh, his record says uh, for him this. And I don't think about that I can uh, get his punch or something else. Uh, I think about only Steve's my work, that coming for what damn I month, bro. do in the ring. Uh, I, I have to listen my training, my corner. And uh, if I will do it, uh, I will. I, I win, yeah. You told us earlier in the fighting meeting that you like to box and you like to move and think. But do you think that your power is just as much as his? Uh, my power, I have enough power to knock someone uh, out. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's not my uh, best quality. Yeah, yeah. You can box yourself. Yeah. All right. Well, we want to wish you good luck. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, bro. Good Dimitri Vivo. Good, good luck. Wow. All right, there you have it, folks. Uh, both guys, tremendous respect for each other. I like the fact that though people are uh, picking Vivo as the favorite, he is not overlooking Smith at all. He understands this is a real fight, so he uh, doesn't want to look past Joe Smith. Uh, definitely respect. Both fighters may wait. Now they're going to go eat, replenish themselves, and give us a great fight tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the undercard. Make sure you guys tune in, obviously, to the fight tomorrow night, 7 p.m. 
Eastern Time and next week. Oh man, Philly listen, we got, a, we got a hell of an episode. The Sweet Scientist, myself, and my partner Barack here have a Philly-based episode, entire show. We sat down with Bernard Hopkins, Katie Taylor, Tevin Farmer. Hell of an episode next week on Wednesday. And it just so happens that next week we'll also be in Philly because there's a great fight with. Tevin Farmer and Katy Perry. Yeah, Katy Taylor. Katy Perry, she's, she's an artist, a music artist, but I can see how you can confuse the two. All right. And Gabriel Rosado, another Philly, Philly fighter. Very blood and guts type of guy. Absolutely. It's going to be a hell of a car. But so tune in tomorrow night, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Bavo versus Smith. It's going to be a hell of a car the entire night. So see you guys next week or tomorrow. I can Barack. All right. Let's talk. You want to learn something real quick?